the strategy here is put the question out there, give it a little time, let someone comment and then comment back to them. Okay, I think we're live now. <laughs> Takes a little while for that to pop up. Um, okay, so out there, give me some comments. Let me know, hello, where are you from? And um, we'll get everybody a chance to hop on and then we'll go from there. So maybe um, hop on, say where you're from and what was something awesome that you did this weekend. How about that? <laughs> and we'll we'll go from there. Uh, let's see, I'll tell you mine, so you can hate me. So uh, I'm Darlene. <laughs> uh, I live in Sarasota, Florida. Yeah, so it was in, like 80 degrees this weekend and we went kayaking. So I know that is not the case for most of the country. <laughs> so you can tell me uh, where you're from now and maybe you did something I know a lot of my family and friends back in Indiana went sledding. Uh, so uh, I think uh, Lori on our staff was snowshoeing. I think Jeff on our staff was ice fishing. <laughs> so we have the whole gamut of uh, weather uh, across the, the bro family. Uh, Virginia Beach baked cookies. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's an awesome one. You can never go wrong with baking cookies, no matter what the weather is. So, uh, hello, Nikki from Ohio. Um, let's see. Yeah, so we, we actually tried our hand at fishing from our kayaks for the first time. We never tried that. It was a big fat, we didn't catch anything, but it was sure fun. It was, it was beautiful, so I can't complain too much about that. So, so if you didn't hear my question, it was hop in, tell me where you're from, and um, what was something awesome or fun or relaxing that you did this weekend uh, since we're just coming off that wonderful weekend of ours so hi janet how are you sandy from chicago yeah i have a friend who's been down here from chicago and he is just he, I, I think his parents live here in florida so um he is enjoying the weather i know it can be really brutal in chicago <laughs> But I like all the weather. I think the one thing about living in Florida, having come from the Midwest, is I miss the seasons. So that's always a bummer. Um, okay, well, I am going to just kind of jump in. What I usually do is it's an open format for the Q&A. If something's been bugging you and you're not sure where to start with um, your social media efforts, you have questions about social insider assets, um, go ahead and throw them in the comments. No question is a dumb question, seriously. Even if you're brand new to social and it's, you feel like it's a silly question, it's okay. This is the place to ask it. Um, or some of you guys are our season members and uh, you've been doing this a while. If you're looking for something a little bit more you know, high level, then throw that out there too. We're just going to roll with it. I have a few things to kind of start with. Um, I did figure out how to share my screen this time. So I'm gonna be able to actually show you um, some of this stuff as we you know, maybe sometimes visually seeing where things are and how to access them is a lot easier than um, me just verbally explaining it to you. So certainly if you have a question um, that you've been challenged with, just throw it in the comments and I will um, jump in and get to that as soon as I can. So um, one of the things that um, I think is one of the easiest places you can start. Um, so you see on your screen, this is our Social Insider Assets page. Uh, that you already have access to. And um, I get a lot uh, of the same question is, I don't know which one to pick. I don't know where to start, you know, especially if you know you're not gonna post all of this content. I think in all there's like 20, uh, let's see, 19, 20, 20, 20, like 24 posts that you can use throughout the month if you separate them all. Um, and you certainly, um, don't have to use them all. Some people do, some people don't. So if you're looking at, hey, which one should I even start with? I think one of the easiest ones just to get it going because it's so quick are the um, engagement posts. And those are the questions, right? So um, they're super simple. 
all you literally do, and I, we get this question a lot, is how do I copy and paste this stuff from the web screen? Um, you right, you highlight, just like you would highlight anything, and then you right click on the top of that and then you hit copy. Again, once it's copied, then you just go right into your Facebook post, and when you go there and you right click again and you hit paste, it'll pop right in there. So it's really, really that easy. Same thing with the pictures. So like, um, right here so if you click on any of these pictures um and you right click this um instagram or whatever um you can right click pay you know actually just upload it from that file on your computer Okay, so it's it's not that hard. It's a little tricky the first couple times you do it, um, but it's pretty easy once you get it. So there's that. So on these questions, you remember the strategy here is put the question out there, give it a little time, let someone comment, and then comment back to them. And this is beneficial in a lot of ways. Um, Facebook will show posts that have more engagement to more of your people. So for example, if you have... I'm just going to grab a number. If you have 100 people following your page or your, your, your 100 friends, when you post a regular post, only a very small percentage of those people actually see that post until Facebook deems that post valuable content. And that's part of this whole strategy with how we're laying these posts out for you. We're trying to mix it up between things that show who you are as an agent or a lender specifically straight up and then things that are more personal and engaging so that you have posts that have um, the chance for engagement and the question post is an engagement type post so um you put it out there they comment you comment back and as more and more interactions even if it's just the thumbs up or a heart that they gave you and they didn't actually comment comment that's still good it's still engagement in facebook's algorithm. So the more posts like this that you can shuffle in there, some are going to get high engagement, some not as much. But I will tell you, the longer you do these kind of posts and put them out there and people who follow you get used to seeing them, they'll kind of start commenting more and more and more. So we have a couple, not a couple, we have a lot of agents that um, and lenders that use this approach. And some of them, I, I follow them because I like to see kind of what they're doing. Um, and when they do these posts, when they post this content in there, they're starting to see, like at first it might be 20 people comment, which is still great. 20 people commenting, it gives you an opportunity to, just to have a back and forth with them. It's not about business, it's just about you as a person so that you remain on their radar, you're considered their friend, you're more than that, you know, you're, you're someone who they wanna see your posts on a regular basis. Maybe they're not in the market to, sell, buy, refinance, get a loan or whatever. Maybe they're not right then at that moment. But as you stay on their radar, when it comes time for them or their family or friends, you're still there because you've been kind of interacting with them on social media. When you only post about business, 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 here this rates, here's this, you know, if it's only about that, then they're going to be like, oh, well, I'm really not in the market for that. I don't know if I really want to see their stuff anymore. So that's why you want to mix it up. It's got to be business. It's got to be personal. It's got to be fun. It's got to be all of those things. And that's why we've taken so much time to give you these particular assets in Social Insider because it covers the, your basis so that you're really valuable content and then Facebook's going to reward that. But it takes consistency and it takes time and it takes you building your following. If, you all, if you're brand new on social and you don't have hardly any fans or followers, it's going to take some time to get that going because you need more people following you, like I said, because not everyone sees a post just because you put it out there. However, if someone's kicking your tires, so maybe their neighbor told them uh, about you and what you do, and they've come and followed you on, on social, and they see all this cool content, they may go poking around and looking, that's why you want to have this nice mix of personality, um, posts that show who you are, what you do, your expertise, why you're the go-to. And that is that mix of stuff that we're, we're 
asking you to post on a regular and it will work over time, but it takes commitment. Social is not immediate. Social is not you post it and all of a sudden these people come and wanna to talk to you about business. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. It takes effort and consistency and that's what this is all about. So we're trying to do most of the work for you because you have other things to be doing. What we want for you is you to come in here, grab this stuff, post it, schedule it if you can. If you have a uh, Facebook business page, you can schedule. Um, but there are softwares that will uh, can allow you to schedule to personal pages too, but it gets kind of pricey. So it really depends on your commitment. Uh, or you find someone to help you with your social and help you with the posting. That can be done as well. But all of the hard work of coming up with the content is here. <laughs> so I just want to bring your attention to these engagement posts because it really, really is an easy uh, swipe and paste. And you can do it with a picture or you can do it just plain text. I think I can show you an example of that. Let me see here. Um, here. Uh, so here's one um, that he used the background. Um, so whenever you do a post, there's an option of just a text. On the right, you'll see the just the text. And on the left, you can see putting a, a color background. You can. There's all kinds of backgrounds to choose from. Um, so you can play with it. I think if I remember right, um, this particular agent on the right finds that without the background image, he does better than the one with the background image. So that is a testing thing. Um, you, it may or may not work in your favor. So it, and a lot of it can be the question as well. But just try it out. I mean, if you see the guy on the right, he uh, and ironically, they both have 42 comments on both of these. But 42 comments is pretty awesome. <laughs> and, you know, if you see here on the right, um, you know, the question, what's the number one thing you want to achieve? And the girl goes, reaching my goals as an entrepreneur for my travel business. And then he went back and said, and this is a really great uh, NLP kind of thing to say is, tell me more about whatever they said. So tell me more about this travel business. Um, are you still at the other job? So this is obviously someone he, he had some sort of connection to. And then they go back and forth. And his last thing he said to her is, I would love to hear more about it privately. Sounds awesome. So what he's doing is he's trying to prompt, hey, reach out, let's talk. Because anytime you do that, you learn from them what they're up to. If they're having maybe some sort of status change, if she took a new job, then she may be in line for, you know, home change, maybe her family life change. Every, it, you never, never know. But again, he just opened it up. I'm here for you. I'm a person who cares. How valuable is that? And that is just from a simple Facebook post. So um, this is a great approach and it's super easy. And like I said, it takes a bit and, and it takes some commitment. Um, you'll need to go back and comment. Um, I don't comment on likes or anything like that. I would just comment on actual words on the page, okay? And when you comment, you wanna say more than three words, okay? I think that's the algorithm. On, I know it is on, on Instagram, but you have to have a few words or the algorithm smart, it won't pick it up. So if you just put a smiley face as your comment, and that's not gonna work. So make sure you use words, okay? So that is that is a great place to start yeah, um, on, uh, you know, just a simple place to post. So I'm gonna pop back over here. Uh, where am I at? There I am. Um, guys, if you have a question um, or if something I say doesn't make sense, please check. within those days to make the most of your time. You may be stuck. Um, those of you who have already joined Social Insider, you're actively using this content. Um, you can maybe are starting to see results or questions, you know, throw anything you want into the comments. I'll be glad to answer it. Um, you know, one of the things I've talked about is a multimedia approach. If you were on my original training or if you watch the trainings that are right here under Social Media Training and Resources, these two trainings, 